So today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to short using KuCoin's cross margin platform. Now I know this task gets a little confusing for some people, but I'm going to make a real quick and easy simple video because a couple of my friends and a couple of my subscribers asked me how do you do this it's getting kind of confusing so the first thing you want to know is that when you're borrowing on KuCoin you're gonna borrow whatever you borrow right so let me tell you what that what I mean by that when you click right here and you go long suku if you're gonna long suku you're gonna borrow USDT so that you can buy some suku the price goes up you sell it you keep the difference now when you borrow suku you're actually gonna borrow the suku token you're gonna sell it right away hopefully the price goes down you can buy it cheaper and then pay back what you owe so let me show you exactly what that looks like so right Right here I got the Suku token pulls up looks like an easy um, short for me it has a rounded top I'm gonna go ahead and set this as my target right here at 11.8 and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit this borrow button right here it says short Suku right here if I wanted to long it I would hit long now it's going to tell me the amount of suku that I can borrow right now. I can borrow up to 11,760, but keep in mind that this is with 5x leverage on my $373 that I have in there. So that would be way too high. I don't want to have a debt ratio that is that high right now with the amount of money that I have in here. If I want to have a nice low debt ratio, I think that's going to be about 3000 suku. And if I wanted to do a little bit of leverage, I would go a little bit higher than that. But keep in mind, leverage, more risky. You know, if you're going more risky, you got to have a higher reward. These charts got to be looking a lot better than what they're looking right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go for 3,000 Suku right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. Now we can see in my account, it's showing I have 3,000 Suku as my balance. I still have my 360 bucks in, in my account. And right now my balance my overall balance is seven hundred and forty one dollars with my debt ratio at around 50 percent now if i want to short this now what i have to do is find a good place to short at say i want to short at this price right here i'm going to go ahead and select this price and i'm going to sell these right away to show that hey i am shorting this right now now my goal is to sell these coins at this price and of course buy them cheaper because that's what a short is so that's how you do it these things sell right here once they're sold I'm gonna have my USDT in my wallet the goal is to buy 3000 suku at a cheaper price and then keep the difference now that's how you short on the cross margin platform on KuCoin it's very simple people te uh, seem to complicate it but what you gotta remember is that when you go to this borrow and when I hit repay right now I don't owe any USDT I owe suku doesn't matter the dollar amount of suku i owe them some suku so as long as i can afford to buy 3000 suku to pay back my loan i should be in good hands right now my liquidation ratio is at 60 i mean at 50 so long as suku doesn't pump to like 24 cents we should be okay so keep in mind this is a something you should not be doing if you don't know how to trade if you need to learn how to trade let me know in the comment box or something not many people hit me up for a course on that but if you need that i will spend the time to make it but it's got to be worth it because it takes a lot of time to make those courses so let me know what you guys think about the video leave a comment in the comment box of anything you would like me to make a video out subscribe to the channel rip to crypto roots think positive and positive things will happen till next time Peace.